Good morning, folks. We've got space weather and a possible geomagnetic storm coming over the weekend. We've got news on Mars, Venus, Earth, and the Sun. Let's get started with our star and find the large dark coronal hole on the south as the most prominent feature. Its solar wind is expected to arrive this weekend and would be the cause of the geomagnetic storms if we get them. Otherwise, you see the bright active regions, but no considerable solar flares from them. There was a plasma eruption on the northern departing quadrant at the limb, but the corona contained most of this event, with nearly all the plasma falling back down to the surface. Gorgeous display. We also had a tiny CME erupt from a C-class flare at a minor active region. I would expect that to be seen in the solar wind, but as you can tell from the visual, it is very minor. Let's go to Venus, where they suggest that ancient volcanoes played a role in turning its atmosphere into what it is today. They actually suggest it used to be a temperate and wet world, sort of like Earth, before a disastrous series of events unfolded. Similarly, more confirmation that Mars was once more Earth-like, with a fairly outstanding ocean, which likely did make the planet habitable. The organic molecules hinting at that are still there and being found by the landers. Going to poke a bit at this one, where NASA says that Arctic cyclones are going to increase in number and severity due to climate change. And technically, that's true. It's just that it's not due to your car or cow farts. Earth's weakening magnetic field creates a disproportionate increase in energy flux to the polar regions, and that energy directly contributes to storm genesis and intensification. Of course, they know that, and also know that when the storms loose the ice in a more major way, it's going to trigger a Heinrich event, which sends Earth back into cold conditions. Lastly, folks, they are using helioseismology from SOHO and SDO to confirm that the torsional activity, the magnetic juice of our star, is in fact declining. It's not all that unlike Earth's declining field and the entire solar system shift as we take the galactic current sheet. The diminishing may lead us to getting a grand solar minimum in sunspot cycle 26, which would be in the 2030s, before the zenith of Earth's catastrophe cycle, which would have profound effects on Earth's atmosphere and the climate. And this reduced electrical activity and magnetic power is also what could allow material to accumulate in the corona rather than being blasted away, such that when the galactic magnetism resurges, that shell is blasted away in the solar micronova. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about these topics below the video with your key resources. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.